Hey guys, Airsoft Matt here. Today we are going to be doing a unboxing, testing, and review video on a package that I got from Amazon. So go ahead and open it up. Pick it up off the table. Then. Or do, yeah, just be fun. Sliding around like that. That's exactly what you don't want me to do. Hang on a second. I'm very excited about this because this is going to be. Uh, key part and it'll be very important in our channel. The box may be a little loud. <laughs> Ace Tech AC6000 chronograph. This runs off of, <clears throat> I believe, four AAA batteries or it can be supported by a micro USB. Um, it has an LED display screen for easy use. Uh, it can record up to 70 shots, I believe. They call it 70 uh, pieces of data in the description on Amazon. And on Amazon, you can get it for $80. So let's go ahead and open it up. We'll take it outside and test it out here yeah. a little bit. Where are we gonna... I got to that. I said we're going to be testing it and we're going to make a review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I guess. All right, so of course you're gonna have a little instruction manual. Leave here. Let me see that. All in English for us. No, so. just... Okay. <laughs> it's usually what we do with instruction <laughs> manuals. I think it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, package is nice. In bubble wrap, nice box. Okay, so this is the chronograph itself. Now, for those of you who do not do not know what a chronograph is. Uh, it uses infrared lasers inside this hole here. There's a hole that goes all the way through. And it measures the feet per second uh, FPS of your airsoft BB or pellet or your pellet gun. Uh, it can also measure the rate of fire, how many BBs per second, or you can set it up to how many BBs per minute. Okay, guys, so we have it hooked up to the micro USB, as we can see. We were just looking through the menu, uh, kind of learning it. And first thing I saw that I really like in the menu, you can go in and choose. They have uh, preset weights for your BBs. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to pick that up. I'll try and hold it as close as I can. We'll show you later um, when we test it. So we're about to go do. But uh, I like the menu, how it's really set up. It's really easy to read. And I just figured out that you can manually enter in your own weight BBs. Yeah, I just saw that. So that's really freaking cool. Yeah, because we don't know anything about this thing. Uh, and if, yeah. that way, so. <laughs> <laughs> and if, uh, if for those of you that use uh, the 8 millimeter pellets, uh, mostly snipers, uh, you can also change the caliber of the um, of the BB. Right now they're all preset as 6 because that's what most guns use. Um, so I really like the display. What do you think of it? It's more in depth than I thought it would be. It is. There's a lot. There's actually a lot of stuff. You can go into the unit. You can change it from rounds per second, rounds per minute. Uh, it's there's a bunch of stuff. You can even change the brightness, stuff like that. All right. So got a good understanding of it. So let's go outside and shoot it. See what it does. Okay, guys. Now we're going to do the shooting portion of this review. Uh, we're going to be using my Polar Star Fusion Engine Gen Three uh, for an M4. Uh, I will be running it's a, right between 100 and 110 PSI, and I'm shooting with .32 gram BBs, the 6 millimeters. We have all of that set up in the gun, uh, sorry, in the chronograph, so it'll be as accurate as possible. Let's go ahead and uh, test the FPS and then rounds per second. Okay, guys, so because this is an LED display, you will notice that uh, it causes a weird reaction with the camera and the display itself. But you guys will still be able to see the FPS down here as well as the rounds per second. So let's go ahead and just we'll have it on semi and just test the FPS. 358, 355, 362, 362. Nope. Oh, man, I am a. 
the new mag in. Three sixty one. Three fifty seven. Three fifty eight. Three fifty four. Three fifty four again. Okay, guys. So this is another feature of the display. It'll show every shot. It uh, displays each FPS of each shot for you, as well as your maximum rounds per second, which I reached 17, with a max FPS of 362. Shows your minimum as well and your average. My average is 357. We'll go ahead and put a couple shots in and see what it comes out as. Okay, so I fired 10 rounds. Uh, I measured each FPS. My max FPS was 359 for those 10 shots, and the minimum was 350 with an average of 355. Uh, I did notice that it maxes out, it saves 100 shots in here, and then it starts back over counting at one again. So, um, it seems to be very consistent. I know that the Polar Star Fusion engine has uh, very good consistency very low uh, plus or minus in the in the FPS. Let's go ahead and flip it to full auto in this menu and see what it does. It actually recorded each and every shot. I think that's really neat because you can see here that I'm shooting at uh, rounds per second of about 17.8 so Roundup will say 18 uh, for my RPS, and it's actually recording each data point for the feet per second accurately. Um, I'm very satisfied with that. Okay, so uh, final thoughts, kind of review of this. Uh, we've been using it for about 20 minutes now, probably. Uh, the consistency in the FPS is very good. I know that. This gun right here shoots a very consistent FPS of plus or minus, I think, five at least. And that's pretty much about what we saw. I think the highest plus or minus we have here is three. So out of 151 shots, uh, we only had variables in FPS going up or down three uh, feet per second. So very consistent, uh, very accurate in its readings. And you can also send a lot of BBs through the infrared lasers and it has uh, it, it, it picks up almost every BB. I don't think we had I don't think a single one of these was misread. I'm scrolling through all 150 right now. Not a single one of these was misread. Uh, so do I think it's worth it? Yes I do. I know that Ace Tech has uh, been in the airsoft industry for a while now. You guys may know them for their tracer units but they uh, pretty recently came out with this uh, AC6000 chronograph. I uh, heard a lot of good things about it, thought I'd try it out. Definitely worth the buy, I would say. Only $80 on Amazon, so paired up to some of the other chronographs, it's pretty cheap, believe it or not. But, um, Ryan, anything you have to say? Nope. <laughs> Alright, so this is Forsaken Airsoft, guys. Stay tuned for more videos.